my dear students i am richard paul science teacher of milestone college class 6 subject science today our chapter is four topics morphology of plants definitely revision class so students today i will discuss chapter four overall discussion so let's get started students what today i will discuss you see today our topic is different parts of a typical flowering plants different parts of a typical root types and functions of root different parts of a stem classification of stem and functions of stem then different parts of a leaf kind of stem kind of leaves importance of roots stems and leaf in human body and finally attitude and behavior towards plants and animals so students listen very carefully though this is a revision class after that you know this is a very important class and there is lots of topics is there that's why i want to discuss some topics elaborately okay and some other topics you know very well about that after that i just want to discuss for your recall okay so our first topic is different parts of a typical flowering plants you know the flowering plants has two part one is shoot system and there is root system you know the upper portion of the plants that means up to the soil the total system is called shoot system it contains the uh, uh, the various part like apical bud mold internode then leaves auxiliary buds branch and stem and the under the soil there is root systems there is also different parts of root you know these things already so can you see the uh, plants and ideal plants yes i know you know all the parts of ideal plants after that i just say for your recall that is flower leaves stems roots and tubes and other things is leaves okay so all the things is present in a ideal plants if i ask you the different parts of a typical root so definitely you can give the answer so what is the actual things in the root you know the upper portion of the root is looks like uh, hair is called root hair and that is the regions of maturation when the roots become mature so that time we can see the different uh, hair like structures that's called root hair and the down of the root hair that is regions of elongation this part actually it is going to elongate and divide it into grown up okay and in the end of the root there is one cap like structures that's called root cap it's regions of meri uh, meristemi metic activity okay and you know very well the root is a very important part of a trees or plants and what activity uh, root does you already known about students yes that is types and functions of root 
you know the router various types among them i have given some example here that is tubeus root system that is tap root prop root and arbitrary root students what is the functions of root yes i know you know very well about the functions of roots roots take all types of mineral salts and nutrient from the soil and roots also uh, is, is just maintain the balance and keep the plants on the stand up soil okay so what is this yes it's absolutely right the different parts of a stem you know the stems is the another important part of plants a stem contains branches branchlets okay and leaves also and you know the it also contains the flowers and fruit okay in the upper portion of the stems you know that is apical bulb that is leaf in a node node and auxiliary bulbs you know the stems is a very important part of plants because stems contains leaf and you know the uh, leaf produce the food by the help of sunlight water air and the green pigments chlorophyll okay so if i ask you the classification of stems definitely you can say that classification of stems generally the stems are divided into two types one is strong stem another is weak stem so let's see about the strong stem depends on branches strong stems can be divided into two types one is cordex the stem is erect strong and has a crown of leaves at the top it has no branch example coconut palm and betel nut can you see the coconut tree it has no branch or branches like that the upper portion there is only the leaves okay let's see others another one another categories of the strong stem that is branch stem it can be classified into three types branch stem what is that at its branch system means those plants or those trees as the contains branch or branches it's also divided into three types one is x kind okay so these types of stems developed branched in such way that they become a cone like structures and look like temples the branches at the lower part of the tree are lower and the branches at the upper part of become increasingly shorter the whole tree takes the shape of a temple as it narrow down gradually from the bottom of the top example willow tulip poplar sweet gum and southern magnolia if i show you the pictures so so this is uh, beside of the coconut tree you can see that this that is called x kind okay now delicacy the stems of some trees are short and strong and the branches and sub branches are arranged from the stem in such a way that the trees looks like domes example mango jackfruit and berry trees okay and our very important part of the strong stem that is crown okay in this erect and branched stem nodes and internodes are very distinct adventitious shoots grow from the nodes example of such stems include bamboo sugarcane etc okay so students or another categories of stem that is weak stem plants with this types of stem can stand upright and they grow either on the ground or creep on masses usually these stems contains no timber in them 
and that's why they are so weak and feeble. Some of them are trailers and some are creepers or climbers. Wheel stem can be classified into three types. Okay, that is first one is creepers. What does it mean? Yes, you are absolutely right. That means these plants are creeping on the ground. The stems grow horizontally on the soil surface and produce previous roots from each node. Example, dubgrass and oxalis, etc. Okay, the other types is tailor. These stems grow and spread parallel to the soil surface but don't produce roots from nodes. Example, bacilla, spui, in Bangladesh it's called pui and peas, etc. Let's see the pictures of that. See, this is the tailor stem, okay, and this is the creeper stem. So tailor stem, there's so many leaves and the uh, stems are so weak and soft. The creeper stems also, like that, the flowers is up and the roots is down. Okay. So another categories of the weak stems that is climbers. These are weak stems and grow upward with the help of some forms of support. Example, betel leaves, palm in Bangla, and bean, etc. Can you see these are the betel nuts? It needs a support to come up, you know. And uh, definitely, this is an example of climbers. Students, now, sample creative question stem. Rita is a student of class six. She went to her village in a summer vacation. She observed different types of plants have different stem. Some contains strong stem and some have weak stem. Let's see the question of the sample creative question. Answer. Okay, our first question. What is trailer? Already you know these things. Write some functions of stem, draw a diagram of it, keep a stem and a plum stem. And number four, describe the uses of stems. Well, students, uh, what is tailor? I know you already know the definition of tailor. For your betterment, I just want to say, these stems grow and spread parallel to the soil surface, but don't produce roots from nodes. Example, bacilla, we is etc. Okay. Now see now question number two. Write some functions of stem. Well, function of stem, the functions of stems are given below. Stem bears the weight of branches, leaves, flowers, and fruits. Number two, stem spades our branches and leaves in such a way that they can get enough sunlight. Number three, stems disperses water and mineral salts to the branches, leaves, flowers, and fruits. When young green stems produce a little quantity of fruits through photosynthesis. Students, do you know what is the definition of photosynthesis? Yes, I know. After that, for your better understand, I just tell you. Photosynthesis is the process by which the plants can produce food by the help of water, air, sunlight, and green pigments, chlorophyll. This process, the plants produce their own food. Okay. Okay, students, our question number three. Draw diagrams of the creeper stems and a palm stems. Before drawing the, uh, uh, the draw, so you have to, if you give the definition of creeper stems and the palm stem, it will be very good for you. And then you draw nice pictures. See, this is a creeper stem and this is a palm stem. Okay. So nicely, you have to draw it. And I hope if you draw very nicely, so definitely you will get full marks. Or first, last uh, creative question answer. Describe the uses of stem. 
well students soft stem of herbs are used as food ginger potato bacillus stem and arum stem are used to is as vegetables and spices date and sugarcane stems used to be pure delicacies as well as nutritious drinks we get timber from lower stem house building materials and furniture are made of wood the fibers from obtained from juice and herbs stems are used in making robes sacks clothes etc students are you recognize these things yes you are absolutely right these are the different parts of leaves you know the leaves are very very important organ of plants in the age of the plants that is leaf apex that is leaf that is the vein you know and the beside of the leaf that is uh, lamina and the age of the leaves and that is auxiliary bud then leaves base then stipule and petiole you know the after the leaf there is one uh, big stem which is attached with the branch that is petiole is the different parts of leaf wow what is that yes these kinds of leaves you see different types of leaves that is the uh, different types of pinnates and compound leaves these things is the compound leaves that means you know the leaves has two categories one is simple leaves another is compound leaves so this is compound leaves and definitely the different types of pellets and compound leaves okay so these both the things is compound leaves and you already know about that so what is the importance of roots stem and leaf in human body first of all i want to see the uses of leaves we eat different kinds of leafy vegetables including bodol gourd leaf basil red leaf spinach jute leaf kolmi leaves in our daily life different luxury items are made of uh, fibers which are obtained palm palm banana and pineapple leaves palm leaves and gulpata are used to make roots beer cigars and manufactures from the tobacco leaves beautiful mats are made from dead leaves valuable medicine is also extracted from the doshas and nishinda then kurchi and thankuri marigold leaves etc you are the, all the bangla terms you know all of you okay then roots of stem the roots of radis carrots turnip etc are used as delicious vegetables costly medicine extracted from the roots of shatamuli and shorbogandha etc i already told about the stems that's why i am not tell the uses of stems here okay so students this is a very important things that is uh, about attitude and behavior towards the plants and animals the plants are very useful to us plants are, are our national resource and a very important agent for the protection of climate for this reason we need to be very much caring towards plants it also important to be kind of animals and birds domestic animals and birds provide lots of benefits to us the animals and birds of the forest are also natural resources we must take care of them too okay so students now chapter evaluation you know this is the end of our chapter and i have just briefly discussed about the whole chapters and what topics i have discussed already you have learned after that i told you for your better understand for your uh, confirmation and recall i just repeat that topics again now i just ask you some question about that easily you can understand the things very nicely for our first question yes what is the name of root which is used as food any guess yes radish or carrot or chuni number 2 by which roots medicine is extracted i will tell that is shatamuli and sharpo bandha in which part of steps can we get wood that is timber number 
ginger is used as fat spices from which uh, plant leaf fibers are obtained palm so our next question which part of plants bears the internal nodes and blade that is stems which plant has temple shaped stem that is southern magnolia what kind of stem is present in pea plants that is trailer which part of the plants bears the weight of leaves fruits flowers and branches stems what is leaf box the part attached to stem on the branch so students these are our all uh, things of chapter 4 morphology of plants now i want to give you the homework and that is learn all items from chapter 4 i know you are very serious about your learning and you are uh, always thinking about your learning and this chapter is little bit difficult and uh, terms are uh, actually new to you that's why i want to say you again and again read the chapters and those topics are very difficult to you try to remember that topic and if you read again and again and try to remember the things i hope you can easily cope up the chapter is can easily control the chapters and you can keep in your brain and when it is coming exam time easily you can write very successful and get a satisfactory marks so that's all for today bye bye all of you